to the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show with your host, Joey and Kelly Baird. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show, 860 AM WNOV and W293CX 106.5. Thank you so much for joining us on this Saturday morning. Uh, and uh, the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com is your destination for 1,100-plus garden video, short and long format, to help you and entertain you. And uh, there are a lot of other navigational opportunities there on the website. Well, when uh, winter hits, most of us, uh, and, and some of us are done gardening already, our garden, uh, based on which one, is kind of not that great. We've talked about the reasons why. Uh, and last year at this time, we were harvesting all the way up to the, fir- uh, the week before Thanksgiving. Uh, we had that first frost in our area, in our garden, in, on uh, November the 18th. And we've had frost middle of October, too. So... Uh, with the winter coming, uh, you may be done growing outdoors, but you want to grow something indoors on a very small scale, and you can certainly do that. Yeah, uh, right. So somebody had actually asked me if we were currently growing indoors, and I said, well, we focus on outside. During, until we can't go until anymore. Until we can't yeah. go anymore. But uh, there's a lot of things that you can grow, and some people think you need a lot of fancy equipment, and that's not necessarily true. And I think the biggest one to touch on that we grow year-round all the time is we have herbs. Well, let's talk about the equipment real quick. Okay. We're, we'll talk about the herbs in a moment. Uh, you can use natural light through the window. Uh, preferably south-facing window is the, the best choice because that's going to give you the most ambient light. That's where we hang our herb baskets at in the kitchen. Uh, if you choose to grow other things, like we'll talk about here, or you don't have that uh, abundance of south southern light, you can use grow lights. Now, we choose to use a grow light from Happy Leaf LED. It is a grow light that ha- that is a professional grade grow light with a home gardener's affordability. Uh, they've got now four or five different sizes now, from four inch to thirty three inch, I believe it is, uh, and. It's the LEDs, and the nice thing about the LEDs is the traditional tube lights that we're all familiar with, over, like, after the first year and the second year, the intensity of that bulb decreases dramatically. And at the end of the bulbs, you will begin to see black portions form, and that's an indication that it's losing its goodness, and you're going to have to replace it. LEDs do not have that. LEDs will last, uh, with the Happy Leaf LED, up to a minimum of 50,000 hours on. Now, 50,000 hours, for those of you who are interested in knowing how long that is, that's 5.7 years of continuous use. And that's not even guaranteed that they're going to go out at that point. That's just the minimum uh, that they believe that they'll they'll last. So um, it's very easy to do, very easy to use. We hang it underneath one of, our, one of the tables in a side room and grow underneath there. It's got a great span of light three times the intensity of what a tube light is. So with the uh, if you're going to do ambient light, you can certainly do that with some of these vegetables. And you don't, you don't even necessarily need that. It is a nice tool to have, but we grew a lot. We've grown a lot with just the regular s- daylight. Correct. Uh, herbs, uh, you can do basil. We've, we've got basil growing. We've got rosemary growing. We've got uh, a lemon balm or li- we've grown lemon balm and lemon basil. And there's like 14. Lemongrass. Lemongrass. Mm-hmm. There's several I think there's a dozen plus different varieties of basil in which you can grow uh, inside, and it does very well. It, ba- herbs are a very low light tolerant plant, which means three to four hours of light. It, it, they'll, they'll, they love full sun, but they will tolerate that three to four or five hours of light, not direct light, but light. So Yeah, and there's that saying that if you grow up for the fruit or the root, you need full sun, but if you grow up for the green, you can get away with partial sun, and that definitely applies here in your home over winter. Right. Now, with these, the next couple of uh, items here, that grow light greatly enhances the uh, plant success here uh, with it, and that being green beans and kale. Green beans, just the regular pod beans, take 40 60 days. Now, you're going to grow all of these. You can do this in a couple of different mediums to grow, and you can do a uh, a hydroponic method, uh, uh, a passive hydroponic method, which means you simply use stagnant water with nutrients in it. You're you're not pumping water through a system. A mason jar, these things sit in what is called a net cup and uh, in clay balls, and they root into the water. So that's that's a way that you can grow all of these without much trouble at all. You can also use soil, or soilless mix is best. Uh, if, if, um, your gar- if, if you still can find soilless mix at the garden center, because that doesn't contain, uh, that has a less opportunity of containing bugs 
you're bringing in. If you're going to use pure compost or pure potting soil, there's an opportunity that there's going to be bugs, soil gnats, that type of thing, which it, it's it's here or there. Uh, you can also use cocoa core and vermiculite mix. Right, that, but as if, a you, root, if you root. do this, any of those, you right. need to add the nutrients. True, true. So but I wanted to give the, the options there. So, okay, with, with green beans and kale, you can grow that. Uh, the kale will do somewhat decent off a window. Mm-hmm. The green beans really need more of that intense light that the grow light provides. Um, and we've grown excess, green beans successfully indoors without any problem. Right. We now, you're not going to grow enough to have, like, canning capabilities. No, but it's nice to just have some. And right. it's kind of fun, too. You're growing something over winter, and it's kind of brightens your day sometimes. So that's kind of nice about it. Makes you feel a little warm and sunny on the inside because when it, you know it's cold outside. Um, but we grew tomatoes this past or yeah, past tenth, couple of yep. years actually, and at, on Christmas Day we had some decent sized tomatoes. Now you can grow tomatoes without using a grow light by using the ambient light out the window. The only disadvantage to that is one, the plant is going to grow slower, and two, because of that lack of light ambient light coming in at the intensity that it would outdoors when your fruit ripens the skin is going to be much thicker than it would if it had the correct amount of light it just that's the way the plant grows it thickens the skin because it's slower to ripen so uh, that's the only disadvantage now you can do cucumbers if you have like a grow tent or something like that Uh, any vine crop is going to take much much more space than uh, it's worth essentially unless you've already invested in that and we grew sun, a sunflower, a couple sunflowers. sunflowers dwarf dwarfs. sunflowers, yeah. Yeah, dwarf sunflowers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dwarf sunflowers, not like six-foot tall sunflowers. But, yeah, we grew some dwarf sunflowers. Uh, worked very well. Now, if you're going to grow, you can grow root crops, but, again, you want to go in that vermic, you want to do in a soilless or uh, soil or a, a cocoa core base so the, the root develops correctly. Otherwise, if you try to grow it in a passive hydroponic method, the, the, the root is not going to, the carrots or the, the the potatoes or the you know radishes are not going to develop correctly. We tried to do radishes in a hydroponic system last year, and they just did not develop because of the there wasn't no dense. Uh, you grow hydroponically. We did in what is called clay pebbles or clay balls, and they're like little marbles of clay that absorbs moisture and then feeds the roots. Which there wasn't enough density around the root of those crops in order to correctly develop, and we had radishes that were green had the greens but no a bulb on them whatsoever so but we had a lot of su- uh, success growing green beans out of that yeah green beans worked mm-hmm. very well lettuce worked very well spinach worked pretty good on that cilantro worked incredibly well and that's another herb that you can grow is, is cilantro uh indoors in, in any of these methods and you can go to our website and find a lot of these methods in which we've practiced indoors and if you have limited space year round, say maybe you don't have a yard or a patio or something like that, you can you can grow this year round too. Right. But right. it's just something that if you if you are looking to maybe grow a few things inside during the winter, definitely some good options here. And and there, this is just some of the varieties of things. Now, uh, word to the wise: uh, onions don't try to grow them indoors because those are unless you can monitor. Uh, the daylight, because they're daylight sensitive, and it's, uh, throughout the growing, we're in a long day uh, area here in Wisconsin. So as the days get longer, at a certain point, the, the plant outdoors in your garden stops developing top growth and focuses on bulb growth. Growth. When you try to grow them indoors, unless you have that down pretty close every day adjusting the light, you're not going to get bulbs of onions. Now, you'll get greens, but you're not going to get, so don't mess with that. Leeks are pretty, uh, leeks are not like that. Leeks will grow uh, fine if all conditions are correct. And some of these are day-length sensitive crops indoors, and some of them are neutral sensitive uh, plants indoors. So you want to be neutral, you want to get the neutral type of uh, plant. You just, I mean, you just have to figure it out, uh, do some research. If you're in the Milwaukee or surrounding areas, just tune your radio to 860 AM or FM 106.5. You can also find links on our Facebook pages, The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener and Home Canning. Our website, thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com, click on the radio tab at the top of the page, then click on the Listen Live button, and you'll have immediately access to our live program. Mobile devices work very well also. Go to your app store and download for free the TuneIn app or the simple radio app. 
Then search WNOV 860, save it to your favorites, and you can have access to our radio show live wherever you're at in the world. Our radio program will also have podcast replay under the radio tab day, uh, several days following the live broadcast. You can find all of these links in the show notes below. Our show airs 9 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time every Saturday, March through the end of October. And we want to thank our sponsors because without them, this would not be anywhere possible. You can find all of their links under the radio tab on our website at the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.